On the other hand, we have the other side of the coin, that for every gram of salt that the, our population in Britain eats in excess, that accounts for about over 2,000 cardiovascular events per year. That is not the costs of which are not paid by the industry, but paid by taxpayers through the healthcare system. So I think this is one of the most cost-effective measures, reducing salt in populations, that we could find nowadays to prevent cardiovascular disease. And it's not a surprise that the United Nations, a few years ago, have set some global targets with the World Health Organization to reduce salt intake across the globe by uh, 30% by 2025, aiming at about 5 grams of salt per day from the current average 10 grams across different parts of the world with some excesses and some better places. And that because that be, has been calculated to be the best, the second cost effective measure after tobacco control. So it's as good as stopping smoking. And that's something that is opposed by the industry and should obviously the, the consumer should be aware of why we have this contrasting news all the time in the media and trying to oppose the idea that reducing salt moderately, because what we are aiming is a moderate reduction, not eating zero salt, but it's a moderate reduction. In Britain, we should aim at 6 grams per day. At the moment, we are about 8.5, 8.6 grams per day, but one of the best in Europe, I would say.